Having one person representing your hometown on the stage like the World Cup is pretty impressive, but the city of Brampton is home to seven, yeah, seven players on the Canadian national team. How is that possible? I tried to find out. We're in Brampton, which is uh, a very special uh, city for, for me and a lot of the guys on our team. Veteran Canadian soccer star Jonathan Osario is right. Hoyland is wide open! Hoyland! The city of Brampton will be well represented in Qatar with seven players, including captain Atiba Hutchinson on the World Cup roster. It's a sense of pride throughout the city of over 600,000 people. Despite its size, didn't take long to find a connection to the squad. You just had to wander into the closest grocery store. Seven players on Canada I know. from Brampton. Even uh, one of my uh, co-workers' son is also playing for Canada tomorrow. Brampton is now on the biggest sporting stage ever. So how did this city develop so many stars? It starts at a field like this. I have been playing soccer since I was three years old. and. Ever since I stepped onto the field, I just fell in love with the sport. Kickboxing is something I always loved doing, and uh, ever since, this place has been a stepping stone for me. Annie Ocbarelli and Doran Gerard own Brampton North Soccer Club, a family-run recreational soccer league. For Annie, soccer, or football, is in her blood, a passion she shares with her community. Like, I'm from the tiniest island of Mauritius, okay? So me and my 200 relatives live here, and we're one of the tiniest islands you'll find on the, on the globe. And we live here, so I mean, from that to everybody across Europe to South America, Africa, you know, Brampton is home to a lot of these people, and what familiarizes us is the love for soccer. According to a 2016 census, over 73% of Brampton residents reported to be a visible minority. A majority of immigrants hail from the Southeast Asia and the Caribbean, all football mad countries and the passion trickles down to the youth level. To demonstrate the dedication and passion for soccer here in Brampton, it's around three degrees outside, surrounded by snow and farmland. But on Saturday, this soccer pitch will be filled with kids getting ready for the winter season. Year round, we know indoor, uh, you know, from uh, usually October to uh, March. And then once that hits, we start summer. Uh, from May all the way to uh, August. Taylor McKee, who specializes in the socio-cultural side of sports for Brock University, says how Brampton players are coached may also play a part in their success. More anecdotal evidence is that in Brampton you see a more a, a freer form of coaching where you know there's a more diverse voices in terms of the way the games are coached. Something Darwin Petit Frere experienced firsthand. I got to learn a lot from Italian soccer. I got to learn a lot from how they play in South America. So. Just my coach actually also when I was in rep was uh, from South America, Argentina. So really just his and in his sense of style of play, my sense of style of play clashing together and it was just a good experience. So when Canada takes on the mighty Belgians tomorrow afternoon, you better believe Bramptonians will be filled with extra pride. You know, Team Canada captain is from is from Brampton. I mean, what you know, this is the best time to be in soccer, the best time to be a Canadian, the best time to be a love of the sport. I mean, it's everything to us. We're cheering on Canada. We're cheering on our boy Atiba from Brampton. All seven boys uh, that are here from Brampton, we are behind them 100 percent. Taylor McKee out of Brock University says this World Cup for Canada will only add fuel to the fire for Bramptonians' passion for the game, with young players seeing this game firsthand that it's possible, which lines up well for Canada to host the World Cup with America and Mexico in just four years.